Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel called Raise India and this is my uh, video segment which I call Today India Tech. In this video segment I share about the technology happenings which is uh, I share about the technology news which is happening within India. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, before that, I would also like you to show my website, which is raiseindia.in. Now, in this website, uh, right now basically I am just putting my show notes for the YouTube videos which I do. And yeah, one more thing I wanted to discuss is uh, due to domain constraints, instead of instead of uh, being able to buy R A I S raise india uh, which was already registered domain uh, i had to buy a sms uh, so i opted for a sms version of the word raise as an r a z e uh, but the problem uh, uh, but after, after later some days i found out that raise words uh, in dictionary has has a uh, a totally opposite meaning uh, which actually means to to destroy or uh, or to or to completely it is or something like so what I want to say is uh, that I don't mean any harm to India whatsoever at all and I'm a very proud Indian citizen so this name is actually due to due to a domain constraint uh, not not uh, not by any uh, 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 not by any thought of uh, of putting any harm to India. Uh, although my logo also has a little bit of fire, but this fire is is uh, is uh, to to raise like this is a rising fire. So that is it. Uh, it is all about. And I have adopted the black and white theme. Uh, because black is my favorite color and 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 white is uh, white is the very common background used in the websites. So this is all about my uh, uh, my brand identity. Yes. So let's move into the into the article here. Uh, before going to the article, I just wanted to talk a very about very uh, casual thing. So. If you if you notice, um, my video doing frequency is little bit of decreased. Uh, if you if you see, I I did a video. Uh, let's uh, let me open my YouTube channel. YouTube. So if you see on my YouTube channel. you would see that my last video which I did was a week ago and and in my last week which was also my first week of this channel I was very very active so in my last week alone I did at least uh, I was trying to do a video every day uh, so it was actually I was really excited to start a YouTube channel and and talk about all the technology ev uh, events in India and all those. Uh, but there is another factor. There is one curve. Uh, there is one thing called motivational curve. So I just want to go very brief about it here. Although there are some videos which I did, and I was not able to upload, and I wasn't able to also write on my website uh, due to some some other issues some technical issues actually anyways so the motivational curve which I am talking about here is as you see this uh, this blue dotted uh, curve so what it talk, talks about is the the motivational feeling of a, of a human of a person actually varies and and there is a uh, it, there are uh, there are various theories and there is uh, there is uh, one theory which is I'm talking about. So when when you have started something, 
you have the highest motivation you are very very motivated for that thing but as the time goes by your motivation keeps dro- dropping like almost making this curve over time and similarly this green line shows another kind of motivational curve which is about when uh, when some deadline is is uh, is co- coming nearby or or you know uh, or you are working towards something then your motivation keeps on building day by day over time like this so i also felt uh, personally the same thing so when i started i was at the at my highest motivation then slowly and slowly due to my engagement to other activities also my motivation uh, kept dropping but even though my motivation is dropping or or maybe it has dropped to a uh, to a lowest point i am still going to do what i am doing right now because this this thing which i do it, uh, it, i do not do it for uh for for some some fan building or or for some money making i i do it for uh because i have a key belief that india's vision is changing very very drastically and and all of all of the people have uh, have to keep uh, keep uh, up uh, themselves with what is happening all around in india in technology and in domain sector uh so so i found myself uh to be to be responsible to do that and and this is just a belief which i have and it just came and nobody has uh, has uh, told me to do this it is it is something which i felt by myself that that i should i should talk about the technology and digital news within india and i should spread these news uh, among you people so you also uh, know about it anyways uh, so now going to our topic here mm. our first news story is uh, that isro hopes its big offering will benefit the masses basically isro which is indian space research organization has recently launched a couple of satellites and it's also going to launch more but they have launched some uh, key satellites so one which is called bhuvan which is a indian regional navigation satellite system and another is gps aided geo augmented navigation which is gagan so bhuvan and gagan uh which are the names of satellites which uh, isro has launched so these satellites actually help in getting very very accurate gps data up till now indian uh in india whatever gps data we were getting was actually uh, was actually provided some some other satellites like from satellites which was launched by us or uk or japan maybe but now indians have their own uh, uh, geo augmented navigation system so basically this system was developed Uh, for the for the aviation industry for for the uh, uh, for the flights for the aeroplanes uh, but this system can also be used in other uh, uh, in other ways like it can be installed in railways so anywhere uh, when our train going to cross a unmanned crossing uh, its uh, its siren will blow up and also uh, government is trying to Uh, apply this uh, uh, system uh, in the all uh, emergency vehicles uh, should be compulsory installed in all emergency service uh, vehicles uh, as it was done in US so actually this is a good leap i would say for india um, uh, so bhuvan will actually offer 2d and 3d imagery of the indian location so this is actually a good leap and good thinking towards how to use technology to benefit uh, various government services as well as uh, some indian people um so so actually uh, the system is interoperable with other systems of us and japan and europe also 
so so i really i'm really glad about about uh, this initiative okay now moving on to next article now in this article although it, it is a very good reading the author has uh, written a very very personalized experience about uh, so i think he he is a writer robin sena uh, i think maybe this is a guest post anyway so this article he he has very very personally uh, described uh, about the fair usage policy which is uh, which is actually uh, implemented by lots of bandwidth uh, broadband providers in india uh, if not all so under fair usage policy they say that okay you are using a broadband that's fine and we are providing you unlimited broadband that's also fine but if you reach a certain limit of download like let's say you have downloaded 20 gb and and this way they keep resetting month uh, in monthly basis so if you if you if you are going beyond 20 gb download uh, i i will i will reduce your speed that's what the broadband providers say now uh, so so this they have implemented because they are saying that uh, this is this is a fair usage so this policy holds fair usage so so if you are on a network and and let's say you are downloading a lot you are downloading like every day every every hour you are downloading now other people who are on the same network may suffer some uh uh some uh, bottlenecks uh, their their speed may may not uh, uh work as expected their broadband connection may may drop it may fail it may slow down due to due to you are downloading a lot right that is what they say the fair usage policy so if you are if you have ex- exceeded a download limit we will reduce your uh, bandwidth um uh broadband bandwidth uh connection speed so you will not be able to download as fast as you were downloading and other people will not suffer now in this article very interestingly this guy the author of this article has has talked about uh, various uh, um uh, various experiences like uh, like if you are a family member of four people and and all four people have a smartphone and probably there are a couple of tablets at your home there is a smart tv also so he have talked he has talked in in really uh very very uh, you know uh digit digits uh and he has uh, what should i say that he has he has really mentioned in it in very very uh brief uh, descript, uh, description that uh, that if you watch a 3 minute youtube video it takes uh, at 320p resolution uh it takes almost uh, 8 to 11 mb and if you have a skype call of 30 seconds it will take around 3 mb and uh uh so so uh, adding up all these uh, what he is trying to say is so the current limit of fup the broadband providers have let's say 50 gb 20 gb according to the broadband connection you take is not actually enough for the current uh, demand uh, the current rising demand of internet needs from the people so actually i totally agree with this uh, being a very very active uh, and heavy broadband user uh, i also agree with this guy uh, mr uh, robin uh, mr robin uh, I'm sorry, Robin. If you're not Mister, uh, so actually, uh, yeah, this article is really, really good, and I would really link to this article. And you can, uh, while you, while reading this article, you can personally relate to the experiences of this guy. If if you are using broadband at your home, uh, using smart smartphone, laptops, and all, uh, so. So actually, the the fair usage minimum uh, is not uh, is not actually 
should should be increased basically so he has also mentioned mentioned that uh, that uh, in us it's typically around 300 gp which if you feel it's more than enough but us is another place right there are people always try to watch high high quality videos like nowadays there is 4k which is up to 4000 uh, uh, resolution like my this laptop screen has a has a uh, what uh, it's not even 1080p it's a uh, it's a 1280 something 720p yeah it's a 720p screen uh, so so yeah so the the minimum of the fair usage needs to be needs to be a little bit higher now uh, this is what this article says now PayPal, which is a which is a payment company, uh, which is a international payment company, uh, has recently been uh, released from eBay. So PayPal was actually under eBay uh, for past uh, few years. Uh, even they say that PayPal was actually so eBay was actually the founder. Um, somewhere is, is that? Um, yeah, now free with its founders. So basically, eBay was the found uh, eBay as a company was the founder for PayPal. So maybe PayPal was invented for eBay. Yeah, so PayPal was earlier specifically invented for doing some payments within eBay. eBay is a very popular website. So which is also in India uh, for basically buying and all uh, e-commerce company. So, uh, so now PayPal is freed from eBay, and now they are saying that they can. They are they are very very keen to target Indian market because uh, earlier PayPal can only work uh, but work with eBay. Now PayPal can also be used with other its founders competitors maybe like Amazon or, or Flipkart or, or like these so earlier PayPal was in India was only used to to have overseas payments done like if you have a client in US you can ask him to transfer money to your Indian PayPal account or to your account in PayPal and th that way you would get the money but PayPal was not able to uh, act, uh, process the payments which were which was done within the country. Let's say you are in a in a city in India and you have a client in a different city in India, and you cannot use PayPal to take uh, payments from. Them. So now PayPal is actually focusing on doing that. So PayPal is very very keen to enter in India, uh, and it expand its business. Uh, so so all these news like like PayPal keen to India. They, so they actually, they are a signal of very, very positive mood uh, of of a of a global uh, of uh, the global world about about India. How they are now uh, seeing uh, India as a market, uh, as a as a prospect, as a as a future growth. Uh, you know. So yeah, so it's also good. Now, Arcom, which is Reliance Communications, is uh, is going to uh, uh, start its content delivery network uh, um, in the five Indian cities. So, if you if you are not familiar with what is a content delivery network or, or a CDN is, so let's say you have a website, right? And you have hosted this website at some at some web web hosting company. Now, when somebody opens your website, let's say you open the website called raiseindia.in, right? Now, as this raiseindia.in is hosted on some hosting provider, basically it is hosted on DigitalOcean, right? So, DigitalOcean, uh, it is hosted on DigitalOcean. Now, DigitalOcean is basically uh, uh, Amazon Web uh, Web Services based. Uh, Hosting provider. So in Digital Ocean, basically, uh, you can. So 
when you host the website on DisclosureOcean, it is basically uh, served by the Amazon uh, Amazon Web Services. Now, when somebody opens this phrase in their dot in the there is some server, a server with which is uh, is basically a CPU, a physical CPU machine kept at uh, at some location uh, anywhere in the world. That that server actually uh, uploads. Uh, or basically, your computer downloads the data, uh, some data, some data packets from that server, and which when it comes, your browser uh, shows your website. Now, uh, now what content delivery networks are helpful in? Let's say because uh, actually I opted for the for the Singapore server. So when you you are uh, uh, opening this website, the data is coming from Singapore. Now, if uh, if I had opted for a content delivery network, let's say I use this Reliance Communications content delivery network, and it is it is uh, I can connect this this CDN to my digital ocean. So now what will happen is this content delivery networks will keep a copy of of your website data, right? So now this raise India dot in. Has a local copy inside uh, inside the Reliance Communications uh, content uh, CDN node, which which is in Delhi, Bombay, Chennai. So let's say the Bangalore node of Reliance Communication has copied my Raise India dot in. Okay. Now 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 whenever anybody uh, from Bangalore or nearby will will. Uh, access this raise India dot in. Uh, now, now the Bangalore node will serve my website. So this way, instead of downloading your data from Singapore, you will be able to download data from the Bangalore itself, which obviously which, uh, will result in in some in a very uh, you know uh, which will help in reducing the network delay. Uh, network. Uh, Delay in the network, so so the amount of time required to download data from from a server to your local uh, your browser, that amount uh, of time can be reduced by using uh, these content delivery networks. Now I'm not sure if these uh, CDNs are uh, right now are available for general public like you or me, uh, but I think uh, I think actually they have uh, mentioned. That these cloud exchanges can help government department access to 40 times the amount of compute power currently available in government data centers and six times the high speed storage. So basically, I think they are more focused towards the government or maybe some private clients of of the real life communication rather than uh, common man. So so yeah. So basically, now your government services will be faster, and thanks to Reliance Communications. And Anil Ambani had also actually uh, uh, has mentioned about this uh, during the Digital India Week inauguration ceremony, where he said that uh, that uh, he is going to implement next generation cloud delivery networks. Uh, by the end of this year, so it is actually a step in that direction, and, and it's really good. Uh, so I'm glad that uh, Reliance is doing this. Okay, now there is something interesting going on. Here. There are some, so there are lots of app developers in all over the world. There are some in in India, some are outside India. So. Uh, the Indian app developers targeting Indian market is not something new, right? Like Flipkart. Flipkart is an Indian company and it has an app. Flipkart app. The Flipkart app will target only Indian people. That totally makes sense because Flipkart currently only uh, have the logistics set up in India. And they can only deliver to Indian people. But nowadays, there are some U.S. based companies, like the two of them, which, uh, which this article has mentioned. There is one called Instant Recall and there is one called Adapt. So these are just two examples. 
uh, and earlier there was also Swift and Truecaller and WhatsApp also have focused a lot in Indian market. Now these two apps have launched uh, just with it started out actually these two apps have just started out and they are uh, they are serving uh, only India as their first market right now and later and later on they are based on US they have started out in US but they are targeting India as their market and later on they are also planning to expand to US and other uh, uh, other uh, other countries. So, after India instant recall plans to expand to in uh, US and Canada. So, actually, they have started up in US, but uh, they are plan but they are targeting India as their first market, and then afterwards they will target US. So, so this means uh, actually uh, that India Indian market is really really have a very very good potential and and if not Indian app developers but US and other app developers are uh, have started to to see to see this potential and and they are really really uh, interested in tapping to the Indian market so if if US uh, app developers are, are so much uh, uh, interested in, in Indian market so I think lots of Indian app developers can also target Indian market and and get some good revenue or some market and all that. okay so now and there are very interesting article here I found so basically what this article says that Flipkart and Snapdeals they are now the day of past although they have started recently but these uh, okay sorry for my alarm uh, or up. so the so flipkart and snap deals are actually huge e-commerce companies and uh, they have proved uh, to be a big titan in that uh, segment but they are not day of past now there are new startups coming out which which can actually uh, uh, target um, the 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 frequency of of the uh, of the needs uh, by which the on demand uh, uh, so so basically what this article is saying that in India the on demand delivery of products is in a rise and it's in a rise uh, never been. Uh, before like uh, like there's an example that a company started uh, with a 20 orders a day in January and now they are serving 5,000 to 6,000 orders a day like from 20 so if from 20 to to 5,000 uh, is almost uh, like 500% growth, right? Um, uh, no, not 5%, right? 20 to 5,000 would be 20 to 2,000 would be 100%, 200 to 4,000. Yeah, so it would be around 250% uh, of growth, yeah. That's a lot of growth. So, two fifty percent of growth they are seeing in the delivery, in the on-demand delivery. Delivery. Uh, so, actually, Flipkart is way ahead. Flipkart is serving almost one point five lakh. No, no, no. Flipkart is faster. Yeah, Flipkart is actually handling eighty lakh ship shipments a month. So, which we which. If you, which is around around 2.6 lakh deliveries a day. Um, uh, but still, there are some new startups coming out, which are much much efficient in in uh, in delivery logistics than Flipkart. 
so actually if you see uh, if you if you are trying to go into e-commerce uh, but you may think that Flipkart and Snapdeal and Amazon and all are already there right you may feel that these big titans are already there how would I compete them so yeah they are the big titans but still there there are lots of uh, opportunities in uh, in that segment in e-commerce segment itself there are still lots of opportunities which which maybe nobody has uh, targeted till now. And, and and with your app or with your service you can target to that market so it's actually it's always good to to do something and then uh, and then start making some uh, you know, inferences out of out of it that uh, so if you want to start an e-commerce company sure start an e-commerce company don't don't get scared with Flipkart and Snapdeal uh, but that is sure that if you are trying to do what what Flipkart is exactly doing and you are just trying to replicate that same model you are not gonna succeed you have to have a USP which is a unique selling point so you have to be unique than Flipkart even if you are in commerce you have to be unique in your own terms so when somebody is looking for that only that thing they should come to you rather than going to Flipkart so this is what this article says is that new startups are also uh, giving a tough bite uh, to crack for these Flipkart and Snapdeals yeah. so yeah uh, so thanks for watching this video and I'm really glad uh, you watched my uh, video and maybe uh, make out some some really uh, good uh, uh, you know information out of it and I would really uh, thankful to you uh, if you have subscribed to my YouTube and you have not subscribed so please uh, Please just go to uh, go to my my channel, which is Raise India, and and subscribe so you can keep watching the videos which I post. And also, sometime uh, if you if you get time, you can come to the website called Raise India button, and you can read. Right now, I'm just putting my show notes. So while watching my YouTube video, if you got any. Uh, link interesting you found out it interesting and you wanted to read about it so I have put the link down here and also a summary of that uh, and you can click on the link so if you click on this link it will directly take you that uh, take you to that uh, article and there you can read the full story of it okay so no, right now I'm just putting my um, video notes but I am also planning to do a lot more uh, updates uh, in the later uh, coming months okay. so yeah thank you for watching my video and and stay tuned yeah goodbye thank you